Welcome, members of the CIA. That's not the Central Intelligence Agency, but the Crazy Italian Army. Welcome. This is your fearless leader, the Crazy Italian, and we're doing a Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Let's Play. Uh, this will be part 23, I believe, and we're going to call it a Sheena Castle Dungeon. Uh, and then we may also add, if we have time, we might fight the boss, General Matsumoto. Um, so we'll see. We're at the dilapidated temple. And as you can see, I've been farming. I have 4,150 sen, which is like gold. Um, that took, I don't know, about an hour and a half to farm. And I also got eight skill points um, to, while I was doing that. And the reason we wanted to get this um, sen or gold is because we're going to be buying some items at a merchant we're going to be at, hopefully... Uh, very soon and hopefully we won't die before we get to the merchant because when you die you lose half your gold and that would really be a pain so let's um, acquire some skills with our eight skill points um, I want to get flowing water reduces the amount of damage to posture when attacked by an enemy with the sword And then I'm also going to get Ichimanji Double, adds a follow-up overhead sword swipe to Ichimanji, deals high posture damage, and also recovers one's own posture with a strong forward step. And let's just look at that. That's um, left bumper plus right bumper is Ichimanji, or if you hold left bumper puts right bumper you do the honed Ichimanji and a right bumper after Ichimanji or honed Ichimanji performs a second overhead strike to cut down counter attacks okay all right um, then if we go back I'm gonna look for midair deflection there it is I'm gonna take that one what's this one down here let's make sure we don't want that well I don't want to vault over the enemies I just, I'm going to be fighting some enemies up on a roof, and and um, when you'll be flying through the air, I don't want to, I want to be able to deflect while I'm in the air, so let's take mid-air deflection, and I'll just save that last point. Okay, um, we're at the dilapidated temple, as you can see, and uh, I'm going to upgrade my uh, prosthetic tool a little bit if I can here. You need... Upgrade that. So we're going to get the spinning shuriken. And then we're going to get the spring load firecracker. And then um, eventually we'll be upgrading all this, everything on this chart, um, except for possibly this last tier here. We'll only be getting some of those because it requires an extremely rare element that you probably can't get um, in the first playthrough. You might have to go to New Game Plus to get that. Um, so the spinning shuriken is still right trigger. or well, you got to hold the um, the right trigger to hit the enemy multiple times and the spring load firecracker you hold the right trigger to charge up the spring mechanism to scatter a flash of gunpowder in all directions instead of just in front of you okay but that used um, some of our gold another time then I'll lend you shelter anytime so um I'm going to show you, I'm going to farm a little bit to get back the gold that I lost, or that 400. So let's travel on over to, um, where is it? Here, I believe, the Ashina Castle Gate. 
I'm not sure if this is the right location. We'll see when we get here. I might have went one to one sculptor's idol too far. No, this is this is it. Okay, let's put on our axe. Oh, also, um, for the shuriken, you have to equip the spinning shuriken there. So now we have the spinning shuriken equipped. And the axe is the same and the flame vent's the same. Anyway, um, I'll just show you this farming thing real quick. You just kill this guy. Vault up, grapple hook up here. Jump over here and crouch. Sneak up on these three bamboo hat get rat guys. Kill this guy and crouch. Make sure you're targeting this this dude. Kill him. And back up because this guy. the axe on his hat and um, you're done and then you could just jump over this wall here and rest let's do it one more couple more times here gotta block that Grapple up here, jump over here, crouch. See the first two you can sneak up on, the third one sees you and you have to fight him. Crouch. guys are very deadly actually you have to be careful um, because um, they can um, if you don't uh, if you're not the right distance away from them to uh, hit them with the axe and break their hat you can't if the hats not broken you can't really kill them it's almost impossible to kill them so you have to break their uh, And they can emit poison, which is very deadly in this game. It'll just keep draining your health, your vitality. Um, it only takes, what, a couple of minutes here to um, kill these three guys. Anyway, I think we have enough gold now. So let's head on to um, Sheena Castle. Piercing attacks damage both vitality and posture, even if an enemy is guarding. Okay. I don't know what a piercing attack is. Maybe that's something you can get as a as a skill or something. Okay, let's let's just rest to make sure. I don't think you need to rest, but let's rest to make sure. Okay. The uh, boss that I mentioned that we would attack if we have time is up there at the top of those stairs. But over here... Is this little old lady. I want to show you something about her. I talked to her in the last episode. You have the dragon rot. Oh, no. Don't force you. Let's see if she'll do um, her uh, thing. If you... Um, 
pray with her by popping, uh, like, say, one of these balloons. She should give you an item. No, I guess that doesn't work because she has the dragon rod. So let's just continue on. Head on over here. I'm going to put on my uh, shurikens for now. Come over here. Pick yourself up a light coin purse. Come over here and eavesdrop. I heard you were the one that put the armor on that big bugger from Taro Troop. Yeah, he was making a stink about it. It was a damned awful job. But it looks like it paid off, didn't it? He already had a huge frame and massive strength, and you just made him near impervious to blades. That is true, but he doesn't like that armor. And he sure didn't like me putting it on him. When a fight happens, it might come off easier than you think. Anyway, so this there's a guy with armor that's impervious to blades, but it might come off... Got the gatehouse key that we're going to need. We're going to need that to get a spear tool or something, I heard. Okay, um, let's um, kill this wolf. Kill that wolf. Kill that wolf. Up on this big boy, you didn't see us. Got a scrap magnetite. I never got that before, I don't think. Okay, let's um, pick up the black gunpowder and pick up pick up the heavy coin purse and come on over to our idol. Found the idol. Let's rest. We have two prayer beads at this point and 4,210 gold. So there's a, a merchant here. Care to purchase an offer? Another one. Where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial mob. We, the impure, cannot turn a blind eye to anyone. Go ahead. Buy an offering. Okay, now um, we're going to purchase. He has a prayer bead, which is what we need to. If you get four prayer beads, you can um, use them to make a prayer necklace, and that increases your vitality and posture. So that in increases your attack power. So we're going to buy that prayer bead. We're also going to buy his three heavy coin purses. And we're gonna buy the four light coin purses. We still got 720. So let's buy um, the dragon blood droplet. And let's buy the uh, four pellets. And let's buy some contact medicine. Okay, we basically cleaned up, we cleaned him out of light coin purses and heavy coin purses. The reason we want to buy those is so that, because they don't go away when you die, like the, the, just the sun or gold that's in your inventory, when you die, you lose half of it. But if you put it by a light or heavy coin purse, you have to pay a little bit extra surcharge, like 10% extra for what you can um, cash them in for, but then they don't um, disappear when um when you die so 
He also has this Mask Fragment Dragon for 5,000. Um, I just heard you don't really need to worry about that yet at this point in the game. I guess there's different... Uh... Where you find the departed, you'll find the Memorial Mob. Wherever your travels take you, make sure you bring some offerings with you. Anyway, um... Okay, now we're gonna put on our flame vent. Okay, we got the flame vent on. Let's um, equip it. There's gonna be some enemies down here in the dungeon where we're going now that are like zombies. You have to burn them to kill them uh, with, with just one death blow. Otherwise, you have to do two death blows on them to kill them if you don't flame them up. And um, that's bad because they can grab you and basically kill you. Um, if you don't um, kill them right away, so we're gonna try to um, There's also crickets down here that are just annoying, but they get in the way. So let's um... Oh, he grabbed me. Okay, you can farm these guys for pacifying agent, which helps you with terror. Like there's a headless boss or something that gives you terror when they attack you. And, um, well, I used too many spirit emblems. Let's go back and try this again. Let's go back and rest, and I'll try to uh, kill this guy right away. Okay, we got our all our spirit emblems back. Okay, we did better that time. Let's um, head over here. Crouch to get through that door. Oh, I used the spirit. I used them. Pick this up. Rotting prisoner's note. Supposedly the fragrant stone is enshrined in a village in the Ashina depths. But how to interpret throw oneself? This is as far as the old Akami tome could take me, but did they truly reach the foundation, Fountainhead Palace? I'd like to know, but it seems I never will. Katari, forgive me. That's going to have something to do with... Okay, um... Go down in here. There's some more crickets down here. Oil. Oil. Now there's somewhere to go over here. Yes. Bite down. Okay, we flamed him just in time. Let's pick up the pacifying agent. Now there's something here to read. Here lies the vassals of the Ashina clan executed after the Great Rebellion. May their spirits rest. So there's some... Uh, dead spirits down here where's um the shishiman warriors we're gonna see here in a second i believe 
See him down there? He's that colored thing. We're not going to fight him now. If you fall down, you can grapple your way back out. There's like a grapple point here somewhere near my head and another grapple point you can see there. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to fall off of here. A soul, Milbu balloon of soul. If one pops this secure pink balloon and prays those its water splashes on will acquire more resurrective power for a limited time. That's good. Okay. Um, now we're going to head. I'm not sure where. Doesn't look like you can go this way. Let's head on back. See if there's another way to go here. Up here, maybe. I don't see how where to go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's try to go over here. No. Getting some crickets action there. Let's um. Looks like we can grapple up, but let's try to find the path that leads up. Maybe right here. Yes. fell down. Let's go back up. Let's see if I can buy more. Um, I don't know. I think I've got enough for to kill one more of these guys. an item right here classifying agent I've only got two emblems this uses three I'm gonna have to see if I can buy some more of these Let's head on back down this way. Oh no, I fell down. Let's head over here and discover this. Let's purchase spirit emblems. I can only purchase one. Let's um, cash in a 
Litecoin purse. Now I got a hundred. Now let's um, purchase spirit emblems. I got 10 more, so I got 13 out of 16. Okay, that was worth it. And we didn't rest, so we didn't create. Let's head on over here. So dark, I can't see what I'm doing. Scrap iron, okay. Let's head back. And let's head on up here to this NPC. I think there's one more. Guy up here this way. You can accidentally um, attack this guy and cause you a problem. So I'm going to just. I don't, I'm waiting to see if any of these um, undead zombie-like guys get up and try to attack me. So I didn't need any more spirit emblems anyway. There aren't any more of those guys. I thought these ones that are laying here were going to get up and bother me. But let's talk to this guy. What are you doing here? Of all places. Ah, are you perhaps a shinobi? Yes. That's right. I thought as much. Might you be willing to take on a favor for me? I am Dojun. I've been tasked with the preparation of a medical treatment using the rejuvenating waters. I'll get to the point, my dear Shinobi. This is a letter I received from the Master. The particulars are contained within. A warden bloodstained letter from Dasaku, the surgeon in the abandoned dungeon. Required one tough man, preferably a strong samurai or a young large soldier such as a member of the Taro troop, must be delivered unharmed to Saku. My dear Shinobi, the details are in the document I gave you. Considering the nature of the information, I think you'd agree that the less we know about each other, the better. Okay, so that's all he's going to tell us. So I guess basically what I could, I'm going to go back to the uh, idol. Where is the idol? It's down here, okay. Let's go back to um Sheena Castle. So we're done in the dungeon, but what I wanted to tell you about that guy is he wants us to bring him someone. And if you bring him a person, he will then give you some lumps of wax or something that you can use for upgrading that you need. Um, but um, the first person you can bring him is like a big guy from Sempu Temple, I guess. And um, if you, you, that guy has his own side quest, so I wouldn't recommend bringing him um, because he, you can use him if you do his side quest to upgrade one of the merchants that was back in the Ashina area that I, I think I told you in an earlier video we could upgrade him. So I wouldn't recommend that. And then the second guy, I forget who he, I don't know who he is, but if you, um, he has his own side quest but you can get a Jesus statue, which there's, it's really rare. If you do his side quest, there's only four or five in the game. Um, that gives you an extra resurrection if you die. So that's very um, useful. So maybe we shouldn't um, bring that guy to him either. Um, I don't know, I'll have to decide later when I get more information for my research. So I'm gonna end the video there. I'm up in the next video up this hill. 
um, is the general surrounded by a bunch of men. We're going to use the shuriken to kill the men, hopefully without alerting the general, and then sneak on him and get a death blow. Um, he has two health bars, two lives, and so... Um, So um, anyway, we'll be fighting him in the next video. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with your fellow gamers, friends, family, and followers. I'd appreciate it. Now we have three pair of prayer beads and no center gold left. What do you think of that? Okay, check out in the next video. Thanks for your support, guys.